Did you know that MBA programs aren't just for bankers and consultants? If you're a non-traditional candidate, you don't want to miss this video. My name is Laura Nelson. I'm an admissions consultant at Target Test Prep with 15 years of experience. I've helped hundreds of candidates gain coveted admissions to top MBA programs. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the classic myths about people who pursue MBAs, along with how non-traditional candidates can be successful in gaining admission to top MBA programs. First, let's start with the classic myths. These are some of the classic myths about what MBA admissions committees are looking for. A lot of people think MBAs are people who have business degrees from undergrad. They're people with business jobs and business careers. They're people who are executives and in managerial roles. They're people who are in quant and analytical roles. They're people who are in male-dominated industries, or mostly male. These are some of the commonly held misconceptions about MBAs, but if you evaluate real data from MBA class profiles at top programs, you'll learn that there's no one-size-fits-all candidate for business school. If you aren't familiar with how to find class profile information, here's a quick tip. You can Google class profile and the name of your target MBA program. The right link should be among the top search results, if not the first one that comes up. Here's a few things to look for when you're evaluating class profiles. I'll spend some time debunking the most commonly held myths. First, let's talk about the perception that everyone has a business degree. I'll use two examples. Take a look at Chicago Booth's class profile. You can see a mix of degrees represented in its most recent class, for example, which does include business, but also incorporates physical sciences, liberal arts, law, and a big chunk of other. At MIT Sloan, you're gonna find a diverse mix as well. So the most recent class was a third engineering majors and econ and business were also popular majors, but social science, humanities, law degrees, and others were represented in their class as well. Next, let's address the misconception that everyone comes from business careers before pursuing an MBA. Take a look at UC Berkeley Haas's class profile. I love the mix of students at Haas, which the school is well known for. There's a lot of variety here, and I love how the program has broken out the tech entertainment, government, military, not-for-profit, and other sectors that incoming students are coming from. Next, take a look at Yale School of Management. There's another great mix of industries represented in its most recent class as well. These industries include government, nonprofit, healthcare, manufacturing, energy, real estate, transportation, and more. Finally, let's talk about gender representation. There's a common misperception that MBA programs are dominated by men. MBA programs used to be dominated by men, but the numbers of women enrolled are increasing steadily. Wharton achieved 50% of women enrollment in its latest class. This is still not the most common split of men and women across top MBA programs. You'll see women in about the 40 or so percents, but maybe it's a sign of things to come. So if you're a female applicant, um, MBA programs need more of you. This doesn't mean you get in automatically, but um, many programs are cognizant that they want to enroll more women candidates. I hope that some of these data points help you understand the big picture. MBAs aren't just for bankers, consultants, and traditional business people. The degree can really benefit professionals from a range of careers and walks of life. Next, I want to hone in on how to overcome some of the perceived weaknesses in the non-traditional candidate profile. There are common challenges that we see time and again. As a non-traditional candidate, you need to ensure that you have career goals, an understanding on how to pursue them, and an ability to handle the MBA curriculum, particularly the quant subjects. First, let's start off with defining your goals. Notice I didn't say career goals here, but this is a real opportunity for your professional, developmental, and personal growth. So if you're an MBA candidate coming from a non-traditional background, these goals need to be crystal clear. You may need to do some more research to determine if this path makes sense for you. 
So I recommend that you network with anyone you can reach who is on your desired career path or development path. You need to understand what you have today in terms of your experiences, soft skills, and technical capabilities that are going to transfer to your future objectives. Then you need to identify what you need to know and what you need to do to reach that. This is where the MBA experience will come in. Develop a list of companies that you're gonna target for your internship and your full-time job. And then finally, start building your network now. This will pay dividends in the future. Next, let's talk about how you're going to pursue your goals. This involves researching the MBA curriculum and specific aspects of the program and developing a plan for how you'll work through these. Take note that recruiting starts as soon as you get on campus. So your application will require you to map specific offerings to suit your goals. So identify the courses, programs, and extracurricular opportunities that will serve your career, development, and personal goals. Begin networking with anyone you know at your target companies through informational interviews, and ensure that your research and understanding are articulated through the appropriate portions of your application. Finally, as a non-traditional candidate, you'll need to demonstrate that you're up to the task academically and that you can succeed in quant-related MBA coursework. If you haven't seen your undergrad transcript in a while, request it ASAP and review it. If you have any Ds or Fs, prepare to address them in your optional essay. You might also consider taking a graded course in a quant subject to demonstrate your commitment to an MBA make sure you get an A. Check your test scores versus the averages and make sure that they're aligned. And then finally, ensure that your quant and analytical capabilities shine through on your resume if possible. I hope this helps those of you who are non-traditional candidates understand how you can leverage your strengths in the application process and align with MBA admissions committees.